Hey guys, welcome back. I'm EDC Gunner and today we're gonna have a little bit of an EDC update. And before you start complaining about uh, the you don't hear me very well, I get it. I figured out the problem and I think I need a level ear mic and a new mic is on its way. But until then, I'm asking you to turn up the volume if you don't hear me. So don't be lazy, don't be lazy ass walk over there and pump up those speakers so for me so today we're gonna have an edc update so uh, if you don't know me i'm edc gunner i'm a gunner because i support arsenal football club i'm a, their, their nickname is gunners uh i know not really i'm a, not i'm a mall gunner uh even though i don't have i love i love guns as well and edc because when i first started watching videos youtube and everything else uh, it started with EDC stuff and uh, that's how I discovered all of you guys who are watching Cutlery Lover and all the bigger guys who weren't so big when I discovered you so for example nothing fancy and speaking of nothing fancy I think he coined the term as well uh, so big props to him if you don't know him uh, just google nothing fancy uh, and I was watching his EDC gear checks and where he goes and uh, some fan uh, walks toward him hey, hey what's up man I'm gonna uh, you watch all your videos and he gear checks them he checks their EDC so most of that most of the time they fail badly but uh, it's so fun to watch and sometimes uh, but most of the people uh, have EDC and EDC uh, have so much fun watching that and I'm so much uh, it's so much fun to see other people worldwide around the world and I'm not I don't even I'd say I'm in Europe and there's a guy in Southeastern Europe in Bosnia who likes EDC and who EDC stuff and uh, just watching EDC gear checks came to me how cool and how nice it is to have uh, like-minded people who are not cheap or who, who like to be prepared uh, all over the place and uh, it's such a cool like you support the same football team and you meet a fan um, somewhere uh, in the in the city and, and you immediately you are pals with him because you have something in common uh, it's the same thing when I meet a watch guy and but with EDC stuff it's it's I think it's the best because EDC guys are the best and the uh, community gear EDC knife gear community is the best out there and uh, yeah I just wanted to throw that off my chest and uh, I'm gonna start with my EDC I'm still rocking my nutsack uh, it's a nutsack and it's packed and fuller than ever uh, it's kind of uh, I'm having a little bit issues with it because now I have a jacket and kind of looks feels silly off the jacket but most of the time I'll just carry it in my hand just like this like some purse uh, and I love my nutsack uh, but before that before I show you what's in my nutsack I want to show you the keys uh, so the key on sorry uh, on the keys I have uh, I added uh, my Phoenix EO5 flashlight because I find it more useful on the keys than on my Weatherman. Uh, this uh, Weatherman Bruiser, uh, I don't really use it but it's almost like a key so I have it there and that's it. And also on my keys I got my keys on a little spread ring, I tried carabiners, uh, wire things, everything but the split ring works best for me so yeah that's the keys. Uh, front right pocket or back pocket or now I have a jacket it's a bit colder outside so uh, sometimes even in my hands so I will I will show you the things and lay it down and uh, uh, maybe I should switch perspectives yeah I should switch, switch maybe I should switch perspectives and show you the tabletop preview but before that a little bit uh, my flashlight this is my main flashlight uh, all other flashlights I had I gifted uh, some of them people uh, see a cool flashlight oh that's super cool uh, just like when I firstly uh, started 
with DDC I always want flashlights uh, and I gift every single one I just have the Phoenix one and this one and all other EDC flashlights are somewhere in some po other guys pockets so but this is Zen Flare flashlight I got it from gear best this is like 20 bucks 15 20 bucks uh, and has a little bit of a whistle here and the super cool it has magnet on top as as magnet and it's a pretty strong magnet as well and uh, it has 200 lumens 200 lumens and three modes uh, so yeah and it's made of brass and you can see a nice little patina forming on it and super small so perfect for me for perfect for EDC even though I think I should add a more traditional uh, flashlight the black one quickie this was a twisty I have a review if you're interested so yeah this is how I use it uh, carry my EDC in a sack and uh, I'm just gonna put it there and lay all the things uh, on the table so first of the EDC I want to start with is my watch and this is my EDC watch and I never left the wrist for this probably the whole month I've been EDC in it and if you're not into watches I can tell you I'm a watch guy I'm into watches I do watch reviews there is no much better watch more affordable uh, than than this watch and it's automatic it's a dial watch and it's a uh, robust and looks nice and I cannot recommend this one enough if you're interested I will put a link in the description box it will be probably Amazon link as they are cheap as there and it's an excellent watch I have it for a long time and it's just perfect Orient Mako this is Orient Black Mako the blue one is even nicer so I'm gonna just put it there of course you can have G-Shock uh, as well G-Shock is great for EDC but I think the Orient Mako is even a little bit better so in my nut sack I have here in this pocket here in this pocket I keep my phone except that I'm uh, using the phone to film it so you won't see a phone here there's a little papers a little bit of coins super handy and in here and in that sack there's all kinds of things going on uh, well I should remove this here so maybe there's something personal some kind of paperwork no you don't want to see that uh, of course I have this little pouch this is a leather pouch and being a watch guy I need to take care of my watches not to scratch the face so I use this and to have my spare watch secondary watch so uh have a little bit of a bit of fresh mint mint uh, you guys have altoids well i usually use this or some bubble gums um have a little notebook uh this is a cheap own notebook you sh you can probably find it find this in the walmart but i just super love this one uh, and it's a little black notebook. I grew up watching lots of those detective stories and movies and the PI, private eye detective, takes out his little black notebook and writes down stuff. And it's always been super cool to me and I will always love it. Of course, to write stuff, I use this uh, pen. This is a pen, my girlfriend gave it to me. Uh, and uh, I don't know what kind of brand it is uh, and uh, but I like it it writes black and it's super nice and it looks kind of fancy I'm I love pants I love fancy pants I'm into pants uh, of course I have here in my nuts egg this is a gonzo a multi-tool and I'm gonna re remove the this uh, sheath because it takes too much space and I'm just gonna drop it like this so too much space but yeah I do have a gonzo 
uh, this is the console I got and been testing it, using it. Uh, I need to do a review on it, but this is a Ganzo uh, G302B. Uh, and it's a super cool multi tool. I think with having this little my pouch nut sack, um, uh, I can get away with carrying full size multi tool with this. And here you have everything on it um, from the blades and spring welded. You have all the blades with the thumb studs, you can see here. And you have a lot of capabilities. Uh, and it's uh, all compact in one place. And I will show you what this will replace uh, from my NATSEC because I haven't replaced the stuff, but I will show you as I move it, what this will cover. And I think this will be an even better solution than something else. But before that, I'm just pulling out things that uh, from my NATSEC that are here, I can show you. I'm just pulling out things. Uh, what first I put my hand in it and here I have some candies and these are Werther's original. I just love these. Uh, these are, I think these are made in Germany. Uh, yeah. Berlin, Berlin, made in Germany. Werther's original, I love these candies. If you see them somewhere, go get them. So I have another pouch. This is a coin pouch, but again, I use it for store watches. Uh, because watch crystals are a bit sensitive, you don't want to get it scratched all up. So uh, I use it like this, and sometimes I will use it for money. But I like I like other stuff, so that's all right. I have a little bit of a band-aids. And what I like about this uh, setup here, let me just... what I like about this setup here and this from this not sack that I can carry so many crap that I've never been able to carry it because you get that uh, prepper's bulge uh, in your pocket and your pocket look huge and I, I don't like it. Of course, and now I have more pockets with the jackets and everything, but I still use my nut sack. So this is a watch opening tool. Uh, when someone offers me to buy a vintage watch or whatever watch, this I found this very handy to open that, to expect the movement and see the things. Uh, because um, I grew up with a bit of a reputation and people are offering you know, watches for me to buy and I will buy it if it's a cool watch especially for review and whatnot I have a little here some kind of statement or whatnot I have here Spyderco this is Spyderco persistence and uh, I need to take this apart and to clean it up a bit uh, but it's still very sharp and very useful super cool knife on a little Chris Reeves style lanyard I made myself, I uh, watched YouTube tutorial and I learned how to make it, super nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this is the first tool that Gonzo can replace in my nut sack, even though I won't, I won't take this out. Uh, my nut sack maybe put it in my pocket, this is Victorinox Climber, super mod cool multi-tool. Uh, uh, flash drive, I have a bit of flash drive just in case I need to transfer some files or whatnot. Uh, I have another I have another pen. Yeah, I cannot have, I have enough pens in here. Another pen here. This is a sleek slim one. Uh, have a watch bracelet removing tool I don't know how this happened found here but I do have it okay now is the set of tools that this little here uh, Ganzo will replace and uh, this this is the tool that it can replace 
uh, this here little I'm gonna remove this off because I haven't really fully DC this Gonzo uh, because I need to uh, I need to check it out so this here little multi tool I'm gonna remove this one uh, set it aside but it has been in my nut sack I have this guy here this is a mini letterman and uh, yeah but I kind of feel bad to remove this, so I probably won't. I will toss this in my pocket. But these are the tools that uh, this Kanzo can replace. And uh, I will speak more about it in my, uh, when I do a review. Uh, but uh, I have a cricket. When you have a nut sack, you can toss whatever you want. Here I have this little setup here. This is a Picology pry bar from County Con. I got this as a gift from my good friend Laura. So uh, thank you, Laura. Uh, still have it, still wear it. Also this cadet, Victorinox cadet. Uh, and uh, this is a perfect little knife. And I have this little um, pocket watch chain that I attached here. Uh, so this can be replaced as well with this. Uh, I have a little cash dash that I haven't attached to anything. I think I could attach this to the weatherman. Yeah, this could work together. And yeah, that's it. I have a spare, spare battery. This is a AAA for my Phoenix light here. For the Phoenix light if it dies on me because flashlights they do die on most awkward times when you most need them so yeah I have some coins and uh, <laughs> not the foreign buckle <laughs> I don't know how this can found here I'm a watch guy yeah. what can I tell you and other pocket here and there's another pocket here and this here in that sack uh, and in this another pocket, I just have a set of uh, extra spare keys, a little bit of a compass just for play, and carbiner, and a little bit here contact info on this one. So yeah, that's all I have on this here setup. So, and that's that's my nut sack empty, and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching guys. That's all the crap here I've been carrying, been having, and I love I love makeup bag. It's not mine. <laughs> I swear it's not mine, it's my girlfriend's. Uh, and uh, this is all the crap I have in my nut sack. And I think uh, it, it will be good idea to replace all this color with just one tool. Uh, here and to have all this capability and uh, in my nuts of course and uh, so what do you think uh, I think I should I will definitely try it but I want to hear your opinion so this versus all this bunch here or tools and plus this is even more capable because it has full size pliers and uh, it's not it's not that heavy. The weight, this is this this here two bunch of tools is probably more heavier than this one. So, so my next EDC should be look like something like this. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. It is time to to move it on, uh, to wrap this up, and uh, see you in the next one. Please. Uh, if you like to EDC, share your EDC in the comment section, and uh, see you in the next video. Don't give it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps, uh, and uh, so please subscribe if you are not subscribed. So, in that case, you will see more EDC videos, and of course, some awesome watches. <laughs>